So Starbucks is in some hot water because there are various reports coming out that the corporation will not let its workers wear anything that shows support for Black Lives Matter, at least in a direct sense. This comes after Starbucks, like a lot of major corporations, have been putting out corporate speak, PR releases, and other documentations saying that they support Black Lives Matter. This is all, of course, in the aftermath of the George Floyd incident, but it's also rooted in things that have been happening over the past decades and indeed generations. And I think it's good to see forces of all kinds, whether businesses or other institutions, make a stand in favor of equality and justice for all. The fact of the matter is, Starbucks wants to have it both ways. They are trying to say in their Twitter profiles and in their corporate releases and in their very controlled messaging that we support Black Lives Matter, we support justice for everyone, regardless of their race or any other identity. But when their individual workers want to demonstrate support for black people, for African Americans, for racialized people, they're saying no. And I think that's super hypocritical and that's very, very disappointing. One of the arguments they've made in their actual documentation explaining their reasoning is that they're worried that Black Lives Matter messaging, that any sort of garb with the BLM logo on it or BLM slogans on it is going to lead to divisiveness and misunderstanding either between their staff or between the staff and various customers. And they say it's to protect everyone's safety. The safety of the customers and the safety of the workers is the reason they're doing this. And they don't want anyone to misinterpret this message. But it should be known that for other controversial political and social issues, Starbucks has taken a stand. Notably, they've often taken a stand explicitly in favor of LGBTQ rights. And that's a good thing. I 100% support Starbucks and other businesses making a statement saying, we welcome you, either a worker or a consumer, regardless of who you love or how you identify we welcome you. That's a good thing, 100%. But to say that that's not political and to say that that might not cause safety issues and divisiveness is naive because whether it's in the USA or many other countries, not all Starbucks consumers agree that LGBTQ people deserve equal rights. They don't, right? People are divided on it. Not all Starbucks staff members and not all consumers will agree on that. And yet, Starbucks allow people to make that explicit stand in favor of LGBTQ rights, and Starbucks in some instances has provided attire and buttons and things that staff, that employees can wear to show support to that community. So not only has Starbucks permitted it, but they've promoted it. And so why is Black Lives Matter different? And, you know, I think it has something to do with the fact that, you know, Black Lives Matter is more controversial, that Starbucks has a maybe a white upper middle class clientele that's maybe more OK with the assertion that, you know, LGBTQ people uh, have a basic humanity than they are for broader, you know, more systemic appeals for racial justice. And maybe that's what it has something to do. They know that on social media, on places like Twitter and Facebook, they can put out messages in support of Black Lives Matter and of racial justice, but, you know, they're white Karens that love to shop at Starbucks and have very specific orders that they'll flip a table over if there's one thing half wrong with it, don't want to see, don't want to be confronted with anyone wearing anything that asserts that maybe black lives do matter. And I think that's what it's really about. And so I think corporations that try to have it both ways are the ugliest sort of hypocrites, right? There are some corporations out there that, that their, their profit model is based on injustice. Like profit, I feel, is fundamentally unjust. But if you believe that there are good ways of making money and bad ways of making money, there are definitely some companies that make money through injustice, and those companies in particular shouldn't try to pretend that they all of a sudden support racial equality, socio-political equality of all. That, 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 they, they, yeah, that's ridiculous. But 
for companies like Starbucks that like to, on the one hand, pretend, hey, right now we're supporting this marginalized group struggling for the equality that they should have always had, but are now demanding louder than ever. And then not allowing their employees, whether those people are from the black community or are just standing as allies to that community to actually express that support is awful. Starbucks needs to fix this. There's been rumors that they're going to be sending some sort of attire to their stores, allowing people to, in a sense, show support with Black Lives Matter, but it's not going to explicitly, you know, support that movement. And that's important to people. In a lot of corporate speak, we've seen these veiled calls to build a better America and for everyone to have equality. But you need to call out discrimination and prejudice and hatred against black Americans in particular. You have to name it explicitly. And one of the ways you can do that is to mention Black Lives Matter and let your staff wear clothes saying Black Lives Matter. Until Starbucks does that, what they're showing is they're putting the feelings of their, you know, discriminatory care and customers over their workers and over other consumers that would be very, very happy to see a corporation, a business support them and their fundamental human rights. Do better, Starbucks.